Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and I just finished putting the final finishing touches on our brand new Weiss Tech Hockey Playbook iPad Edition. This is a completely revamped playbook. There's a lot of really cool new features and functionality that I feel are gonna enhance your abilities as a coach, make this information easier to process, and in turn, make it easier to present to your team and get everybody on the same page. The systems in this playbook have been used by hundreds of coaches over the past you know, three or four years, and we've had a lot of good success. I've got emails from, you know, we've had a championship, uh, Ontario championship team using these systems, uh, a few silver stick teams using these, using these systems, and uh, even a couple beer league teams, that, you know, that have used these systems with their teams and, and won championships in the beer leagues. So um, the systems work. What you want to do as a coach is uh, as you, uh, you know, as you go through these, pick up kind of go through it with an analytic mindset and uh, pick out the systems and the positional plays that are gonna make the most sense for your team given your own team's uh, strengths, weaknesses, age groups, skill level, experience level, uh, mental maturity, all that good stuff. So as you kind of consider what we're presenting in the playbook along with where your team currently sits, then you'll be able to really accurately select the plays that are gonna match up with your team and you'll be able to have some really good success with it. So um, I'm not gonna talk anymore, let's jump straight over. I wanna go straight into an iPad view of this so we can actually walk you through everything that's in the playbook and uh, show you all the new features and functionality that I'm so excited about. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the playbook and I wanna show you what we've got going on. As soon as you open the playbook, the first thing you're gonna notice is that it's vastly different than the previous version. What we've done is gone and take kind of a completely different format, but it's gonna make it much more studyable and you're really gonna be able to dive in, learn the content. Uh, if you're a coach, learn the content better so you'll be able to teach it better. And this is also, I'm seeing a lot of ways I think that we'll be able to use this at the rink and be able to teach the players, get, to, get the players performing these systems better. So um, let's go ahead. The first section we're gonna, I'm gonna show you right here is the table of contents. And what I wanna do is like not only go through what's in the playbook, but show you some of the functionality of this new format so you can really see how you're gonna be able to use this. So um, table of contents wise, the way that it's structured is we've got each section. So right now we're in the philosophy section and you can see down here at the bottom every page that is part of the philosophy section. So if we scroll to the right, then this next section is just, again, this is kind of the intro, but this is just the key to the diagram. So if you wanna see the diagrams, or see the key to the diagrams, we've got everything there just so you know like what we're looking at with, um, you know, with any of the pictures that we're talking about in the playbook. So we can keep scrolling. Now this is where we start getting into kind of the real meat and potatoes. This is our D-Zone coverage section. And again, all the pages are listed down below. So you can scroll to them, and whichever one you wanna see, just tap that page and it'll open up. Um, if you wanna go back to the table of contents, all you do is just pinch and it puts you back into this table of contents view mode, right? So that's kind of the, the first part of it. Um, if you also want to, you can access the table of contents up here, just tap this little list thing. And you can see you can tap table of contents, which it's not tappable right now because we're already in it. Um, and then we've also got the glossary and I'm gonna show you that in a second, but the glossary is gonna be a much more usable tool in this version of the playbook than it has been in the past. So um, let's go ahead, I'll jump back into this. Um, you may have noticed already, but let's just open up this page here. What we've done here is we've got all the written content that's been in the original playbook, but what we've done is actually embedded all of the, uh, all of the theory videos. So all of the explanations, um, a lot of the stuff in the playbook, so now it's not like you're toggling back and forth between you know watching videos online and then reading it in the playbook. It's all here in one spot now. So you can read you know some of the philosophy about, for example, the hockey development pyramid, and then um, jump straight into the video and hit play and watch the video. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how that works. Just hit play. What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and uh, this is our... Now cool thing about this, this is kind of a cosmetic feature I guess, but one of the really cool things about this is um, you can control like whether you go to the full screen or not, just take two fingers and expand out, and you can see you can kind of control how it comes out, but uh, you just let go. First video in our philosophy section of our hockey... And you can see it opens right up into full screen mode. Also you'll notice, 
and I'm gonna, not gonna mess with this right now because this is how I'm actually recording this, but you've got the AirPlay feature. So as more and more, you know, if, if you have access to an Apple TV, or I know a lot of the media rooms and the rinks nowadays are starting to become more sophisticated, have better technology, not just like an old VHS and, a, and an old boxy TV, but like real projection monitors and, and stuff like this, where you might be able to stream what's on your iPad in onto the TV and watch these things as a team, this is where it's gonna start getting really interactive and where I think you're gonna be able to not only learn the material better as a coach, but be able to present it more effectively to your players. So be thinking about that. And you know, like I said, this may be a couple years down the road for some of the arenas, but I know some of the ones currently are starting to get some a lot much more sophisticated media rooms where you can really jump in and start using some of the technology that's available nowadays. So if you wanna go back out of full screen, just pinch, bring it back, and then you can scroll through it like a regular book. As you can see, we've got you know some of our philosophy videos in here. Um, scroll through it as a regular book, or like I said before, if you want to, all you do is pinch down, you go immediately into the table of contents mode, and then just select the page that you're wanting to view or review, and go from there. You can also select, you can see we've got kind of a list, the outline view on the main page of each chapter. And so if you wanna jump straight, so let's, let's uh, tap on box plus one responsibilities. So if you wanna jump straight to that page, boom, just hit that, takes you straight there. Now, um, you've also noticed we've, we've got in every section, we've got just like the regular playbook, but we've got the responsibilities laid out for each position. And what's really cool about this new format is if you wanna highlight something. So for example, let's say that you're like a right winger and you wanna make sure that for every aspect of systems play that your team is using, you wanna make sure you remember the right winger's responsibilities. Well, check this out. What you do is just put your finger down on a word, put your finger down on a word and then just drag. Okay, so you can see I dragged from top to bottom there, but you can do it and uh, basically just highlight whatever section you want to be able to remember. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually highlight a couple things here. Um, so here you can see we've got the diagrams as usual. So we've got combo of video, written text, and diagrams all in one place now. So there's no more going back and forth, bouncing around between things. Um, let's say, okay, right winger down here too. So this is, that last one was box plus one. We've got that highlighted now. We're gonna go and highlight the responsibilities of uh, the right winger on the sagging zone coverage as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and we'll jump to a completely different section here. Let's go to a breakout and let's go, um, let's see here. I'm gonna go to a board side breakout or green if you're using the color coded system. So in this case, we've got like strong side winger, weak side winger. So basically, I'm, there are some, gonna be some breakouts where I'm gonna be one or the other, so I need to know both. So what we'll do here is we'll just hit the wingers, highlight that all up, and uh, what you can do is, let's say that I wanted to remember, in this one I can be both. So I'm gonna put a note in here. I might be one or the other. Okay, so I'm gonna remember this. Now, as a player, your notes probably would be different than as a coach, but whatever notes that you wanna put in here, just you know, tap that, tap the highlight that you just did, and also you notice you can change the color of the highlight if you want. Um, you can also change it to an underline if you prefer that, okay? Or um, if you want to, you can copy, share, there's all kinds of different options here. But basically, um, you're gonna put your own note in there, and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do, let's do one more, and then I'm gonna show you what you can do with your highlights and your notes. Um, let's jump over to Offensive Attack. And yeah, let's go down, let's go right here. Okay, so on this one, we've got F1, F2, and F3. So I wanna remember all of that, because as a forward, there's a possibility that I could be any of the three. So let's go like this, and say, um, the main purpose of the F1, F2, F3 is to drive drive the D deep and wide, right? Okay, and that's the note. So I can remember what I'm talking about is, you know, I wanna, F1 is gonna drive wide, take the puck wide and deep, pull that defenseman deep with him. F2 drives the other defenseman wide and deep, and then F3 is coming in uh, late, kind of a trailer man, and he'll be able to pick that up. 
Okay, and so now we've got our attack triangle, right? And that's what we talk about in this section. So now, let's just say that I've gone through whatever notes I need to make, whatever highlights. Now I'm gonna hit the notes section, okay? And you can see it clicks me over into a different looking view. And here I've got all my notes. I can see them all at once if I click all chapters and it sorts them out by chapter. So in chapter one, I have notes in section two, section three. In chapter two, I have a, a note in section six, uh, or sorry, a highlight in section six. And in chapter three, I have a highlight in section two. And then any of my notes pulls them in there with me. Now, let's say that, um, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in taking a pretty academic approach to coaching. And I believe that players need to do the same. So let's say, you know, as a player, or maybe even as a coach, you want to do this, but I want to study these. So almost like flashcard style. What I do is hit study cards. Okay. And then boom, I've got my, I've got my study cards right here. And as you can see, it pulls up a series of just like five by seven cards that you can thumb through as if you're studying for a test. So as you can see, so on this one, this was lesson seven, uh, box plus one responsibilities. And you've got my right wing responsibilities, um, you know, strong side, position front of the net. This is exactly what I highlighted. So you can thumb through that. Um, you can also see, you know, check out the other notes that I made. This is when uh, we're talking about sagging zone responsibilities. This was our uh, board side breakout. Now, anytime that you wrote a note in with your highlight, then all you do is click that reverse button and it flips the card over. You can see your note on the other side. So that becomes really useful as well. Here we have it again. You know, this is the other one on the uh, offensive attack, and I, I highlighted F1, F2, F3. And we were talking about, you know, the purpose of that is to drive the D deep and wide. We wanted to remember that, so there it is. Okay, now here's something else that's really cool. It also pulls in glossary terms, and we'll go through the glossary um, because there's a few other things I wanted to point out with that. But check this out. So you can go through and you can look at each of the glossary terms, but one thing that's really cool is let's say, you know, you wanted to remember what the terms are and actually study these, all you do is flip the reverse button and boom. So you've got the definition on one side and, or sorry, the word on one side and the definition on the other side of the card. So you can really go through, terminology in my opinion is really huge. I, I love to have consistent terminology so that the players and coaches can be on the same page. And so this helps kind of bring it all together and make it a studyable format that it's really easy to go through. So we're talking flush, God, coach keep talking about flush. What does he mean by flush? Okay, let's hit it, flush. Okay, to put pressure on the opposing puck carry, usually to force him out behind it. You've got the definition there, right? So um, when you're done, just click done, and done again, and you can go back into your regular playbook. Another cool thing I wanted to point out here, so we've got all our explanation videos, right? And, uh, but, if you've been following us like on the blog or on YouTube for any amount of time, you know that from time to time I post live action videos. Whenever there's you know an instance or something I wanted to point out, um, a lot of times it's stuff that mimics some of the systems that we've already got in the playbook. And so what I've done now is not only do we have the explanation videos, but there will be um, occasions where there will be a live action video demonstrating that exact same topic. And so we've included that as well. So now, not only are you hitting the text, but you're also hitting the video explanation. You've also got highlightable, studyable format where you can really dive in. Um, you've got your, what else do we have? We've got diagrams, you know? Um, and now we've actually got live action availability as well within, all within the same book on your iPad. So um, again, all you do, it's the same, same story, just click play. What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and uh, it's late Thursday night, I just got done watching the, uh, the play. But this guy, notice here's the really important thing, this is Pavelski. So right there behind the play, he's already... So you can see we've got the telestrated diagrams um, going through, in this case, this was a Joe Pavelski goal. This was a couple years ago, but um, it was a fantastic way to use the attack triangle. So it's t attack triangle in action. It was like picture perfect play. Um, and then there were actually a number of other plays that I, I did diagrams on as well, where they were using the attack triangle, but using different options. So as you can see in this section, we go through a lot of the different options of the attack triangle. And so these are each different instances of using the attack triangle, but working through it in different options and um, really well illustrates you know, what we're talking about with this concept. So um, that's, 
that's a lot of what we're talking about. Let's go, there's one last thing that I wanted to show about. Um, I keep talking about like this glossary and how much more usable it's gonna be now. You may have noticed already, but there are certain words that are highlighted in red throughout the book. And uh, for example, on this page, we've got uh, the attack triangle highlighted in red. Any word that's highlighted in red means that there's a glossary definition of that word. All you need to do is tap that word, and boom, the definition comes right up. You don't even have to leave that page. Definition pops up for you. You can say, oh yeah, okay, when he's talking attack triangle, that's what he means. He means any offensive formation that creates triangular formation, thus providing the puck carrier with two passing options, enabling the offensive team to create width and depth in their attack. So we've got that, okay, perfect. Okay, he keeps talking about poise. What's poise? Tap poise, okay, it's got itself it's got a definition that pops up right there on the screen. So as you're going through the book, pretty much any time that you have a question, most of the you know most of the terminology that may not be quite as common has got the definition, so that all the definitions, all the terminology can be the same, and you can keep it consistent with your team from uh, you know from player to player, from year to year, and uh, makes it really effective in communicating what you're looking for from your players. So that's pretty much everything to show you in the updated version of the Weiss Tech Hockey Playbook. It's available now on iPad, and um, you know, go check it out. It's in the bookstore, and it's phenomenal. I think it's going to uh, really help and revolutionize the uh, the way that you're able to coach. And as technology and the rink improves, you're just going to be able to do more and more with this. But our main objective was to be able to uh, not only hit the text version, but be able to get video explanations, um, live action demonstrations in a lot of the NHL clips and other clips, um, as well as you know the, obviously the written diagrams and everything else. So you're, we're kind of hitting it from every possible angle. All that's left for you now as a coach is put it in action, jump on the ice, and work on these skills and these systems with your team. So that's the Weiss Tech Hockey Playbook, iPad edition. I'm sure by now you can see why this is gonna be so effective for you as a coach. You've got your written explanations, illustrated diagrams, um, video explanations of all the concepts, as well as play-by-play -play live action uh, examples of how to use this stuff in game situations. So uh, to pick this up, all you do is click the link in the description. You'll be taken straight to the iPad, or, or sorry, iTunes checkout page, and you can download it straight into your iPad.